Oh, Mr. Downs! You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? <coughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Really? Certainly, would you? 
Please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. I'm working. <laughs> if I'm here, there's a reason I'm here. <clears throat> Pay the money, you'll make this stop. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. Be reasonable. <laughs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. 
And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Let's go, boy. Oh. I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down, then head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. Here we are. Just one or two, right off of? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple of beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone! People been leaving me alone for the last... Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> but me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. 
your mouth, mister.
You alive? Arthur! You alive, Arthur? Uh, I want to die. Where are we? What did we do? I don't know. Oh, me neither. Yeah. You paired degenerates. Oh. There's a fine for drunken violence in this town. You're just lucky no one was killed. Hey, we didn't start a thing. <laughs> yes, you did. Well, I don't remember. Either you fools got any money, it's $10 and you're free to walk. Sure. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see either of you around here no more. So, that was a quiet drink? First one was pretty quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first one was pretty quiet. At least it took your mind off goddamn Mikey. Well, that's certainly true. I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna have a little sit down and feel sorry for myself.
Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head farming. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? Wait, look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? We're starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town, not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Hmm. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. Here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't yeah, think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. I don't know. I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. None of this is familiar to me, but it all looks the same, so... So anyway, as I was saying... Are you sure this is the right way? Okay, now where was I? Ah, yes! You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Yeah. Will you slow down? Oh, oh. Anyway, as I was saying... Not enjoying it, Dan? I cannot possibly follow you at this pace! Okay, now where was I? Ah, yes! It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not wake up, wake up, this isn't a race. 
So anyway, as I was saying... Oh. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Oh, are we close to town? Sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Well, oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people want to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars! See if you can pull them off! What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were strong the moment I laid down. Ah. Let's get 
the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. I'll trust you. You have finally lost your damn mind. Yeah. Hello, sir. Uh... Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now... Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull him off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Let down, you fat sack of crap! 
Excuse me a minute, Arthur. something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. In a house call in the middle of all that ain't much I care about more than those guns that much is clear who was that fella skinny yeah we ran together for a while did a bank job down south didn't end well I saw how goddamn ended he was gonna let me hang I'm starting to wish I had and you owe Lenny too he hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Whoa there. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you, to liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, <clears throat> sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes. Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah! Oh, 
Okay, then. 